Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Zen. Today we're reading for the collective. Hey collective, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell uh, to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. All that information in the description box below, all right? Make sure you like and you share, okay? Thank you. All right, so let's get into it. This is a channeled message here. Um, and the channeled message is that your ex knew what your mother was doing to you, okay? Um, okay, so it was a, uh, it was a dream, dream state. So, let's try to remember that dream. Uh, okay, cool. So, I was in my room this time and I was listening. Um, I was actually listening to Wait Until Exhale. I was listening to the, the soundtrack. And um, the song that came up next was um, Not Gonna Cry, which was number seven. I know that whole soundtrack like the back of my hand. Anywho, it was number seven, Not Gonna Cry, right? And this ex of yours knew what your mother was doing to you was completely wrong, but they felt tied or they felt like their hands were tied because your mother was holding something over your ex's head so it, it gave your mother the green light to continue to wreak havoc try to destroy your life try to harm you in nefarious ways and things of that nature here um with the help of your ex so i need for you to understand that your ex was a part of this whatever group meeting clan um initiation or whatever you want to call it um in regards to stopping you from moving forward or stopping you from being successful two different um it was two different plots but they all intertwined together so with your ex your ex don't want you to be with anyone else if it's not them they don't want you to be with anyone else they're going to they, they were trying to sabotage you your mother as well too don't want you to have anyone don't want you to be successful and all that stuff and they were also sabotaging you but what your mother did um is that they did something to trick or to harm or to put this person in a very unpredictable but a, an or unpredictable unpredictable position or more so a position that they are afraid to leave so this person beat fear into your ex your ex's head here but your ex is deep or caught up in the bullshit that your mother has been trying to do. So that's why they feel like their hands are tied here. Um, also, what I saw um, briefly, because I was listening to the music, briefly a vision popped up. It looked like an actual, like a projector. That's how it looked to me. And I looked up, Spirit was like, look up. So I looked up and I saw the projector literally in front of my face. And I saw, um, uh, you remember... Um, Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck and all of them at the end of the show it would say that's all folks and it has that big red bullseye and something's coming out in the middle that's what that that was your your ex's um there was a man that was coming out of the portal but like I said it was red it looked exactly like the ending of you know when they say that's all folks when it's getting ready to like close out the credits and stuff it was this big red circle, but it was just not one. It was like layers. So you have a, a, a circle that's outer, and then you have one in, in, in that circle, and then in that circle, and then in that circle. So hopefully that makes sense. So there was about four red circles. It is, it's, it's going to resonate for somebody on here, and I, they told me to explain it exactly like that. So as, um, as I saw that, the person... Um, or this mask, it was a masculine energy it was an actual, actual male that actually jumped out. And, um, the way they jumped out with their hand is like, yeah, like that, like, help me. It was like, help me. And it, it frightened me. I ain't gonna hold you. That frightened me. Cause I was like, what the fuck is going on here? So I jumped out of bed because when I say it looked truly real, it looked like somebody was coming out of this this portal here like they're trying to come out of it but they can't get out of it because they're already tied up into what your mother has been trying to to do to you so not only is your mother trying to destroy your life she's also trying to destroy your ex's life as well too in any way shape or form so your mother feels like she has an ironclad way of trying to um stop you from moving forward or stop your your ex from moving forward okay So whisper. So your mother will whisper things into this person's here. Very pessimistic, very rude, very manipulative. Queen of Swords, okay? Queen of Swords energy. Don't do this. Don't do that. You should do this. I'm also hearing Bible as well too. So your mom could be into the um, 
you know, it could be reading the Bible or something that she, you know, that's her religion or so. Um, but I just keep hearing like certain scriptures and these certain scriptures are being used to embed into this person's head to, you know, don't do this, don't do that. It's just, it's a way of fear. It's a way to keep someone indoctrinated into fear. And they like to use the Bible to kind of get that, that thing going here. So with the, with your ex coming out of this portal here and like, yeah, like literally it was a hand. It was like, help me. It was just like that. Like, help me. Help me like that. It was like, then I was like, what the hell? That shit was crazy, bro. Tell me more about this whispers and, and manipulative, manipulative ways. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. So this person was abusing their power here. They were a brown loser. Yeah, they were scamming. They may have bribed your ex as well, or your ex may have to give up money. Money was definitely involved in this. Some kind of money has, has, um, yeah. Some money has been transferred between the two because pentacles is here, five of pentacles. So somebody's losing their wealth or losing their money or they're sick. Yep. Yep. They feel defeated. Not only do your ex feel defeated because they know what your mother was doing, your mother feels defeated as well, too. See? Lovers. Your mother's very extreme. We'll go above and beyond to make sure that you don't succeed. Mm, mm, mm. We'll do anything possible to see you defeated. We'll do anything possible to see you sick, ill, or even fucking dead, child. Fear of change holding on. Yeah, delayed endings. Feel like your ex is holding on to you energetically okay do a cord cutting to release that energy okay the devil is in reverse it's a capricorn yeah see your mom is trying to sacrifice you so they can get what you have but that's it's just not gonna work that way four of swords and then we have justice here too so your ex is like completely burnt out by all of this like i can't do this anymore i can't take this anymore yeah because your mother really did a number on this person's mental mental state um i'm also hearing that your mother lied to your uh ex as well too in regards to you okay or mother like figure but i just keep hearing mom mommy so i'm just gonna go with that you're um yeah been lying to your significant other in regards to how you truly feel about them it was just a way to get them get you guys to be separated i'm also hearing that siblings was included as well too sibling or extended family i'm hungry i need to get something to eat i know that was just so random i'm sorry yeah coffin they didn't want you with this person at all no they didn't want you with this person at all and this person, yeah, was like, oh, okay, well, you know, mom knows best. Okay, path is in reverse. Pat, mom knows best. And they actually believe your mother. They believe your mother over you. Okay, and you got to let people do what they feel is best for them. Okay, but now they're kicking themselves in the ass because there's no future with you. They realize they, they went against the wrong person. Alliance is in reverse. They gave alliance to the wrong person. And the person that they gave alliance to is your mother. And your mother is fucking your ex's life up. That is something that your ex don't want you to know. Your mother is the reason why your ex is where they are. I'm also hearing that your mother as well too um, may have brought forth people towards your ex so they can date them or whatever the case may be. I'm also hearing there's an ex of your ex's ex is in cahoots as well too. So your ex's ex or current ex, I feel like that your ex's current ex don't like you as well either. Some way, somehow they teamed up with your mom to hurt you and harm you as well too. That backfired as well too. Like your mom went above and beyond, above and beyond. Okay. Now everybody is just all laid out in the fucking stretcher. Like, oh my God, what's going on here? Everybody fucked or fucked up. <laughs> yep, foot. <laughs> they put their foot in their mouth. They put their foot in their mouth. She thought that this would have been great. So engineers want to show you this way. It was in reverse. 
But your mother thought that if she concocted this bullshit here and, you know, she can watch you, okay? She also may have other people watching you as well, too. Yeah, she said some really slick things about you. You you know, you're a dog, you're dirty, you ain't clean, you know, stuff like that. It's not true, but that's just the way they view you. You know, they say that you you don't look presentable. Taylor is in reverse. Just want to show you, but you don't look presentable. You don't look good enough to be amongst this person here. So they thought it was in your best interest to sabotage the connection. Like, I said, thank, just thank them, shit. Thank them. Because if yo, yo ex, I'm going to say significant other, right? If your significant other can believe your mother, who y'all that y'all wasn't living together with, can believe them over you, then it wasn't, it was never any trust there to begin with. So go ahead, bye. Thank you. So then what I'm hearing is that when the mother got into your ex's head, the ex went back to an ex, right? This is an on and, on and, on and off type situation with this person, with this ex here. Um, and then the, your, uh, masculine ex tried to use the feminine, feminine ex to get back at you, to throw in your face. They be like, oh, look at me. I got somebody better, but y'all exes too. So I don't, okay. <sighs> what? We have serendipity in reverse. Serendipity means to be free, right? So not only did they go with this person that they thought was be the best, better than you, listen, let them be. Let them bitches be. Okay, let them be, let them be, let them be. Not only did they thought that this person was the cream of the crop and better than you and stuff like that, they didn't even realize that the person that they were putting on a, on a high pedestal over you was fucking them. Was fucking them right in their face and they didn't even get to see or they wasn't able to see. So in reality, collective, I mean, you really the true winner here. And people going out their way to make sure that you don't have things and, and be successful and stuff like that. Boo, you the real winner here. Mm -hmm. You the real winner here. Your ex won't come and tell you what, what truly happened between them and their ex. I can see it. I'm going to spill it because we don't hide nothing over here. We tell the truth, right? Mm -hmm. So with that, <laughs> they don't want you to know what happened. And what I'm hearing what Spirit is saying as well, too, with this, the, the, the feminine ex, they work together with your mom, okay, to not only stop you, but stop the ex as well. So they went above and beyond. The, the ex wants your ex. This is just, this is just tacky, it's messy, it's uncouth, it's barbaric, it's beneath you. We're gonna let it, we're gonna release this. We're gonna surrender and we're gonna release it. That's that ain't show us. It ain't your monkey, ain't your show. Release it. And once you release it, or soon to release it, you're gonna be able to breathe. You're gonna be like, oh my god, like I should have did this a long time ago here. So not only is your ex lying on you based on what your mother is saying, they have this other ex here as well, too, that don't like you and is in competition. So you have not only your mother, you have this ex as well, too. By, by, by the way, though, that don't like to take baths or showers. They don't like to shower. I don't understand that. You're a woman. Why you don't like to shower? Why not? I, I, I don't know. Everybody different. This person don't like to, to, to shower. I keep smelling. They smell frothy stink. They smell and stink. So... Oh, yeah, soulmates is in reverse. <laughs> yeah, unhappy or happy happy is in reverse. Yeah, they did everything possible to keep you guys apart here. Never ending story. Yeah, they wanted the story to end. Okay, and they were building blocks to make sure that that happened here. Okay, so that the ex can have him and then, you know, whatever. Shit, maybe the mother had him too. I wouldn't put it past them because. If you doing all that shit, your mom probably fucked your boyfriend too. I, or husband or whatever. I don't put it past no fucking body. The way they doing this weird shit. Yeah, you done with a Capricorn? That was a risk taker. Okay, thought that um <clears throat> they thought things was better on the other side. And it wasn't. So they may try, they may have worked with this person. Check your DM. No, don't check no DM. Good news is a tower moment for this person because they are very irresponsible. They sick. They sick. They started off with friends with benefits. This girl got real jealous. This girl is, I mean, dangerous, dangerous how? Because, I, I mean, I don't, how? Dangerous how?
Okay, tell me something new. They just they're trying to set you up to get you beat up. Girl, chill. Karma, we stop that shit. Right? <laughs> Could be a Gemini you, that you're dealing with, child. Y'all invest in a gun and be okay with investing in a gun. Okay. Be okay with investing in a gun. Anybody want to pull up on you? So, what would you say? What would you say to me? Let me give you a little background story. When I was living in Philly, or first off, they were, and they're fake rich. I have to put that out there. That whole cesspool of shit, bullshit is, is uh, fake rich. But anywho, I remember I was in Philly at the time when I was living back in Philly. Back in um, East, West Oakland, East Oakland, West Oakland, off of Ocons. It was off, no, it was off of Broad and Stenson. I'll never forget it. And I was pregnant with my last child. Um, There was a guy that had came up to my car. It was like maybe like 11, 12, 11 30 or something. It was real late. I think I was coming in from work or something. And I'm driving home, I got my babies in the back, windows up, you know, closed, whatever. And we, we waiting at the light, the red light. I hear jiggling and jangling at my door. Somebody trying to rob me. Good thing I got my gun. I had my shit right there. I, when I tell you, the quick draw McGraw, I said, what, what, what's up? What's up? You trying to do what? That man saw, when I say he, his whole body turned white, and it was a black man, his body turned white. He was shook because I don't play no fucking games. I don't play no games. I don't play about my safety. I don't play no games. And that man learned. I said, I wish you would. Because if he would have took another step, I would have pew. Mm-hmm. When I said that man ran off, you know, like a deer get real scared and they get spooked and they just run over. They kind of like gallop off or however they, you know, how there's, it's a way that deers like kind of run or they gallop or or something like that that man that, that man was a whole deer he was a whole deer i see you you gonna learn i see you truly lucky i ain't pulled this trigger bro because i was in the right i'm at the stop sign waiting at the light or not stop sign i'm waiting at the light for the red light to turn green i'm minding my business you come up and you jiggling my car that means you want smoke but this ain't the smoke that you want <laughs> this ain't the smoke that you want Ladies and men as well too, invest in a gun. Invest in a gun and practice until you become sharp shooter. So at any point in time, and yes, because in the times that we are in, yes, you have to protect yourself. Now, just because you have a gun, I ain't saying go out there and be all gun hold yeah, what's up? No, we don't do that. But just know that you have that skill set. Just in case something pops off, something arise, you good. Okay? That's all I'm saying. They untrustworthy. They cold-hearted. They, they, they trying to fight you. They trying to argue with you. I'm telling you, they don't want no fucking smoke. They don't want no smoke. I'm telling you. They could say all that shit, all that shit behind. But if they were to actually see you in the in the presence, in the actual now, they wouldn't, they wouldn't even say nothing. So does it still count? I don't think it still counts. Because if you talking behind my back, mm, you know? They pretending we we don't pretend over here we live our life truthfully truthfully here now this person is drinking their life away and i just saw it here drinking their life away they have no faith oh well that's what you chose so 12th house in virgo you chose that life mercury we have a uh, Virgo in the seventh house in Saturn. We have Capricorn in Mars in the seventh house. A lot of seventh houses. What's seventh house again? Okay, relationships, marriage, contract. Business partners, equality, sharing, and a personal style. It was a lot of stuff of houses that came out. So, I mean, that makes sense. Oops. So, you could be dealing with a Taurus, or you could be a Taurus. Could be a Sag. Capricorn. Leo. Taurus. Two more. Uh, Libra. 
That's some wild ass shit. Scorpio. All right. If that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Until next time. Peace.